What's up guys? Sorry for being gone for so long, but uh, had some stuff I had to do, but uh, I'm back here now, so let's get started today. If you couldn't tell by the title, we're talking about first line gear. What is first line gear? A lot of people get this wrong. Uh, first line gear is the stuff that is always, always on you, right? Uh, you rarely if ever take it off once you step outside the wire once you're going on mission you keep it on you keep it on it stays on you it's always right there even when you're you know you might sleep in it or you sleep within arm's reach of it so we're just going to talk about some things that you should have different ways to carry it different ways to do some things so let's kick into it things you should have you should have light sources all right obviously i don't expect you to carry three headlamps and a flashlight but different capabilities different things pick and choose you have high intensity white light good for if you need to do uh, you know search for somebody search for something um, blind the fuck out of somebody whatever have something more like this which is a bit more modular can go on a helmet can go on a uh, can go on a headband you can do whatever it's got different modes it's got red lens uh, it's got red, IR, blue, and white, I think. That one's pretty cool. And you got these. I like these. These are small, AAA. They go straight to red lens. And then uh, if you hold them down... Hold on. Alright, well, I don't know what the fuck's up. Oh, wait. Okay, it's on. It's just uh, almost dead. So I need to change the batteries on that. But anyway, point being, figure out what you need your capabilities to be and then move around that. Do you absolutely need IR? I do, all right, so this has to come, all right? Uh, do you absolutely, one thing I would say, you absolutely need a red lens and I would say you also need a pretty high intensity uh, white light. So typically, um, I'll carry uh, two or three lights, you know, usually one handheld, nice bright flashlight that's just for that. Uh, one with a red lens filter would be even better. I don't, one of the old pop cap red lens would be even better. But then something like this, nice small modular. I can do what I need with it, but mostly it's for that IR. Um, this takes a single CR123 too, and I always have plenty of those. And then one of these will probably end up somewhere, usually just sitting around my neck as just my general little, okay, here we are. You know, need to look at a map, boom. Need to search for something boom just you know red lens right there I never have to worry about a white light ND with this because it always you have to really deliberately there you go go to white light so lights dummy cord all of them too by the way dummy cord everything just you know that everything here pretty much everything dummy cord other things for lights chem lights all right here I just have two IRs just for uh, demonstration purposes but have a couple chem lights um, uh, and I, a good trick to have for signaling is get a six foot piece of 550 cord get an IR chem light and a physical chem light or if you don't have nods or not working with people with nods uh, two regular um, viz chem lights put 550 cord through each hole tie them off you can crack one of them or both of them Spin it, spin it, and you have a big uh, six-foot disc of light for anyone to find you. Uh, great for signaling, great for if you're trying to be found, because believe it or not, sometimes we are trying to be found. Because uh, think about it, first, this first line gear is more of your, yeah, general use stuff you don't want to go without, but also your survival gear, stuff that if you lose everything else, that's all you've got. You've got your, so, uh, some camouflaging stuff, right? Um, I don't have my sniper veil here because it's actually in the laundry because it's disgusting. But uh, you want some stuff to be able to camouflage yourself. So that includes, uh, you know, maybe camo wrap, face paint, um, you know, uh, sniper veil could be a uh, could be the just the top of a, a ghillie hat, you know, of a ghillie suit, just the just the hat and the veil, you know. And you don't have to carry this whole thing, you know. You can take some of it, wrap it around a water bottle or a knife sheath you know you can have this is like what it's a few feet right there 
just be able to camouflage your gear up, camouflage your rifle up, do whatever, you know, stuff for that. Obviously be able to camouflage yourself. Um, these things like to break and pop open and I need a new one, but that's the one I had. Um, carrying on tape, e-tape is great. Uh, I like to carry, usually not this much, usually, you know, but I go through e-tape a lot. But, you know, this much or half a roll or whatever, keep it somewhere. Um, take some, or, you know, if you really are hurting for space, take some, wrap it around a lighter. You know, you can wrap quite a few feet around there, be able to do what you need. Speaking of which, lighter, obviously. But tape, um, duct tape is good too. Take a little credit card. I don't have any here, but take a little credit card. You know, wrap, you know, wrap like six, six or seven feet. Not a whole lot. You know, rarely, if ever, do you need eight feet, you know, or fucking 40 feet of duct tape. You know, that's just it's unnecessary. Something to cut with. You know, am I saying take two knives? No, but I'm saying these are, you have different, uh, options you know you can go with the, the big old honking thing that I never actually use because it's too big and annoying but this little buddy here this little guy it's usually just right it's nice small just good for cutting things it's not you know if I need to stab somebody in the throat with it could I yeah but that's not its intended purpose as you can tell it's well used it's wore the fuck out <laughs> this one's nice and new it's more ceremonial I guess um, going on with that tools this also encompasses that so could you omit this probably but you're not gonna have as much capability as if you had this you know if you just had this so obviously this is a Leatherman Super Tool 300 really good multi-tool I'm not gonna review it right now but I usually carry either this one or my mutt um, right now I have this one and yes it is a stupid silvery chrome stainless steel thing but you know is what it is um, I'm using it right now because my I lent my uh, black EOD one out uh, lighter we already talked about good thing to have along with this is uh, waterproof matches take some take some matches uh, dip them in wax too just to really really storm proof them because uh, this will uh, if it gets wet it'll shit the bed on you <clears throat> But uh, have a way to, you know, combust, start a fire. You know, if it's uh, 50 degrees out and you're, you end up falling in a river or something like that, you know, you stand a chance of going hypothermic. So you need to be able to start a fire. So, uh, like I said, a couple things I don't have here that I'll be sure to mention, though. Uh, you know, lighter, ferro rod, you know, ferrocenium rod and uh some matches and you you should definitely be able to get some get something going there so methods of combustion cordage do you need this 100 foot hank or it might be like 85 feet now i had to use some of it but do you need this no 25 20 feet you know 25 feet something like that but carry cordage obviously plus you'll have cordage from all your dummy cords from dummy cording just about everything Something to write on, something to write with. It's just a notepad of things that I <laughs> made sure to, that I remembered to mention that I, didn't, that I don't have here because half my stuff is packed up over there. And this is just what I have out. Um, along with that, nav tools. Um, I'm not breaking into it, but this is a sketch kit with, uh, and it's got uh, protractor, matte pens, all that other, all that good stuff in it. Pen, pencil, matte pens, marker, stuff like that. Um, something to write on, something to write with. Oh my. Watch. Obviously. It's a fucking G-Shock. Uh, something to clean your weapon with. Alright, weapons cleaning cure. Alright, this has got CLP, some brushes, uh, a little cut down piece of a shirt that, um, a little cut down piece of a shirt that, uh, what's the word? Um, for a rag, tools for your weapons, so anything that, you know, ad adjustment tools or anything, keep those in there, um, be able to clean your damn weapon. A very, very basic <laughs> medical kit, you know, uh, you can get crazy with this, you can go just this route, you know, uh, at minimum, have a tourniquet, at minimum, have a damn tourniquet, you know, but you can get, you know, these are just some 
you know, this is some acid trace and some antibiotic, um, uh, some bandages, some band-aids, stuff like that. Just real basic. And then if you need to, you know, carry some gauze and some tape or an A strap or something, make a impromptu to make an impromptu um, pressure dressing if needed. Um, Eye Pro, Ear Pro, that goes without saying. Um, that's whatever. Just some Surefire Ear Pro here. Um, and, you know, uh, we'll discuss that. Gloves, goes without saying. Something to keep you a little bit warm. Fleece cap, fleece watch cap. Nice, light, packs away easy. Boom. Um, lickies and Chewies. Uh, am I saying shove a whole MRE in your cargo pocket? No. What I am saying is open this up get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that cut the spoon down or keep another spoon somewhere take you know these like a couple things you know like boom boom and screw that put a clip bar in there Put it in that damn, put it in that damn bag, and there you go. You got food. All right. A um, couple things I didn't mention: uh, VS17 panel pen flare gun with flares, life straw, sharpening stone sewing kit, all things you should have. Um, also, make note uh, in here is extra batteries for nods, lights, pecs, everything. Um, well, sorry about that. I went and fucked everything up. But anyway, we're back. As I was saying, um, so you have all this stuff, right? And, you know, all of it is, as you can see, you know, necessary. How do you carry it? Well, I hate cargo pockets. Like, I really hate using cargo pockets, like, with more than, like, one thing in them, all right? So I use a fanny pack. This is a tactical fanny pack. It's nice and, you know, tactical. Um, let me fill this thing up. There. Now everything's in there. Packed away. The only thing like this would go in my pocket. That'll go in my pocket. That goes on your wrist, obviously. This, I normally have Ranger banded to the top. Ready to go. Tourniquet. Boom. Got gloves, everything. Packed away in there. You know, there you go. Open it up. You know, you got, you know, stuff. If, it, if I'm getting in here, you know, I have time to kind of root around and everything, but it carries the weight better. I like it so much better than carrying a, uh, a damn everything in my pockets. I hate carrying stuff in cargo pockets. It just flops around and it's annoying. And This, I can swap this between loadouts. I can change clothes. I can I can be in my shorts, you know, and throw this on and have everything I need, you know. Minus, you know, all of this stays on me, but, but all this stuff, well, that goes there. But this stuff, uh, whenever, uh, anything going on you know this will get looped looped through there or shoved away or something so fanny packs dudes I'm not saying you have to but give it a try give it a try you know this is way way better to carry than something else the only thing I wouldn't recommend putting on this would be maybe pistol so that's the, the one thing that people that I always go back and forth on is my pistol do I put it on here, do I put it on my pants belt? Do I put it on my battle belt? Where do I put it? And truth be told, it just kind of floats around a lot of times. Normally, it ends up on my pants belt for most things, but it's all mission dependent. But think about that. Think about where your pistol needs to be because uh, when chips are down and shit's crazy, you definitely want your pistol on you. So, things to think about. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys got something out of this. And again, I apologize for not making anything in a while, but hopefully soon I'll be able to get uh, get regular, you know, get back in the swing of things and be able to uh, 
start pumping out some more content for you guys and hopefully hopefully uh, start making some better content but I'm doing uh, what I can with what I got so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did like uh, comment all that stuff if you uh, if you didn't enjoy it you know dislike and tell me why you tell me what I did wrong um, how I can tell me how I can improve and uh, hopefully at some point I'll be able to redo this video a little bit better but if uh, even if one person got just a little bit out of this then it was worth it so see you guys next time peace